All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. It is 7.20 right now on a Thursday morning, and I'm sitting outside my first Thursday sale of the year. There's actually two sales on the map today. This particular sale, it doesn't open until eight, but it was a picture of a crammed garage, like stacked all the way up. It said that the garage hadn't been opened or went through in 20 years. So I'm hoping to find some nice vintage treasures in here. And that is why I'm super early and the first person sitting outside of this house. Is it okay to go ahead and look? Yes. Okay, okay. great. Come on, as long as you don't mind me pulling it all out. I don't at all. I saw your Scooby-Doo blanket in the ad and was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I've set it aside, so I will pull that out the back. Awesome, awesome. Santa. I'll let the pair go for five. Okay, sounds good. Can I just make a little pile right here? Yes, okay. The pair for five bucks. These vintage animatronics sell well used, but to my surprise, these were both new and I hope to get somewhere in the realm of $200 for the pair. Oh, you're going to have a good sale with all this stuff. <laughs> Is it fine to just look? Yeah, pretty much all that pile was heading up front. Oh, okay. Way. Okay. Like, you'll obviously be able to tell, like, the scrapbooks, the tabling stuff. That's right. Staying. <laughs> oh, no. Now I'm noticing these green boxes on the ground that are wrapped in plastic wrap. I can see the Island of Misfit Toys, though I'm confused about what's inside. There's not an easy identifier on the outside of the box, but when I flip this around and see they're a CVS exclusive, I realize that it's most likely the small stuffed animals. And while I've sold some of the stuffed animals individually in the past, I've never come across these complete sets and definitely not in the display box. So I know there has to be good value there, but I had no idea just how much. And I do go on quite the roller coaster ride to try and land one, but you guys are gonna have to stick around to see. These probably don't have the best sell through, but the pain is in really good condition. <clears throat> this looks similar to one I've sold before. Kevin, don't faint. Ooh, I saw these lids on the other one. Yes. 
can't believe there's only one other person here right now. And he's leaving with nothing. Is the other ones. What the heck is that? A turkey holder? I've literally never seen this piece of Tupperware before. Alright, those are pretty good. What does that say? Danielle's. I'll set those two. Salt and the same salt and pepper shake here set numerous times. Condition of the S and P matter a lot on price. These are really yellow, but the other pieces look pretty good. Come to mama. Come to mama. I definitely thought Kevin. I'm loving all the vintage Tupperware. Because uh -huh. <laughs> I pulled down three boxes and it kept saying Tupperware. I was like, no. <laughs> cringe. Yeah, for a lot of people it is. Lucky for me, it's not. <laughs> okay. I'll make you a deal on all this. Boxes. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what I'm digging in right now. Yeah, there's two of them that are full of Tupperware. I'll make a deal on the whole box. <laughs> I think I just kind of picked through there. I'm going to look again though to make sure. I was finding lids for one in the other box and made my day. Now, are you getting rid of the stuff in the garage? It's still hidden in. Okay. I'm still pulling it out. Okay. Like, I know that very back corner is all staying the steam trunk and the uh -huh. file folders. Okay. Uh, the old radio's coming out. There's a Japanese pinball machine in here. Oh, wow. It's coming out. I know that my great grandpa used to do, like, woodwork. Oh, really? Like furniture? Yeah. That's awesome. Has all the little animals. Oh, I didn't see a little mushroom. This is very old. Looks like a mixture of stuff here. I'm gonna dig in all that, y'all. Live. We've taken Kinsley to see Sesame Street Live. Oh my gosh, how cute. Pterosaurus vintage homemade candy bags. That's amazing. Them. 
Vince Gill. I do not know who that is. 1993 Vince Gill. We'll give that a go. Alan Jackson. 1992, I believe. Oh, I made. Mr. Cats. Don't mind if I do. Oliver. Another Sesame Street line. Oh, where am I made? It's a whole collection of watches. Pocahontas. And that has actual nickels glued to it. This little pan was sitting on the edge of the garage. Is it for sale? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna fill up my whole trunk at your yard sale. And then come back and see me Sunday because I don't wanna pack hardly any of this. I will remember that. My goal is to empty that out and turn it into a room. Oh. That's. He's loud. Yeah. <laughs> With the music, especially. The video game. Oh, okay. See, mine's music. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, Yay! You can just put it in my pile. Vintage Corel Blue Hearts. Who doesn't remember that? And I just now had other competition, guys. Marlboro. Nerf guns and stuff for sale? Yep. Okay. Scooping. Gosh, that's a lot of stuff. It's a made in USA. Lids. Where's my little pot? Ooh, uh, release radar. Radar warning receiver. used to have liquid in it it's all missing but that's still cool I actually saw that baby boat before and Pocahontas I wish they still had liquid I wonder if it's a leak or just something over time oh that one has a crack Disney World Just snared off for. Ooh, all five. 
Thing that stinks, they don't have water in them anymore. I'm thinking I just said they'll still all sell together at least. That's my pal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she was the first one here. I said, do your thing. I'm still pulling it out. Yes. No. <laughs> I'm calling all my quilting friends. Like, <laughs> yeah. Try your little plushies. Oh, uh, haven't really decided yet. Okay. Oh my gosh, you have a cricket. And Daffy. Oh my gosh. This is why my kid has too many stuffed animals. It looks like a McDonald's toy, but a Liberty toy is not a McDonald's toy brand. Hey, found These are the cutest. Who is that? Black Singles Dairy Berry. <laughs> Cheese logo, or mascot. Is it a good time to tally up my ginormous pile here? Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> I normally have containers in my car, but I failed today. I got nothing. Well, as long as you got mine smashed. No, you? I don't care at all. Whatever you've got is perfectly fine. All right, I don't even know where you want to start, girlfriend. <laughs> There's 11 in that bin of those ones and of those. How you want to do it, girl? <laughs> Calculator. <laughs> uh, I know, it's overwhelming. <laughs> okay. You literally look like me. Like, I do that so much. Yes. That's, that's how you know you went to a good yard sale. Yep. <laughs> I hate to be that person, but I'm going to take these and these. Because... I wouldn't plan on getting those out. Oh, 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 okay. All right. Yeah, we're Sure, I'll put it right here. Hey. 
they get set out by accident yesterday? No, it just, I'll let her have first dibs back here. Oh, gotcha. So I kind of just told her to look and that I was still going through it. Gotcha, okay. All right, so we said 10 on the pairs, saying a dolls, right? Um, well, you actually said five. Five. Yeah. Okay. Backstreet Boys for life. I know. <laughs> uh, I'm obsessed with the Scooby-Doo stuff. Yep. Those are going on my blanket quilt. Oh, okay. <laughs> Then more shows I have been to. <laughs> We went there. <laughs> the Alan Jackson and uh... I was stealing her good stuff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! That was my favorite box. That was all my baby <laughs> stuff. That was all my babies. Yeah. Girl, and the Little Mermaid's my favorites. I have like what three Little Mermaid birthday parties. And oh my gosh, <laughs> that's my awesome. My favorite was uh, Aladdin. Oh, right, um, we're gonna flip out, but I'm gonna show you. Oh no! Don't flip out on me too hard. If you're gonna keep it. But I am keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> I won't flip out. I promise. I have a great appreciation for all things vintage. Not only vintage, all things vintage is me. Uh, so that's what the good boxes aren't there then, huh? I found all my Britney Spears, my NSYNC dolls. Oh my gosh. My. I had that Britney Spears hit me, baby, one more time. That one, uh -huh. <laughs> she said. Oh gosh, you're really digging it out. <gasps> oh my gosh, are you serious? Yeah, girl, you better put them watches in there. No way, you have them all. You made it to the steamer truck? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all the watches. You have a huge collection of those. Look, I almost bought look. some watches. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a wicked collection. Sabrina the, the Teenage Girls. Witch. Oh my yes, gosh. Yes, girl. That is awesome. And your Britney still in the box. Yeah. Oh, but jeez. Oh. Yep, you shouldn't have shown me. Now I'm gonna yeah. be having nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's so funny when you meet somebody else at the time frame, same time frame as you remembers all the same goodies. Oh. Yeah. All right, these are all the losses so far. Oh, that's awesome. All the lithographs from all the movies. You were trying to make me have nightmares. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that's awesome. Oh, oh, back to this task. <laughs> wow. I know, right? I've already took so much away, I don't even want to take these away from her, but that was my childhood. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but I'll... I gotta let go of it, right? Yeah. You can take it if you want them back. It's no, I was looking when you before you were ready, so I get it. You really don't have to feel bad. I'm just joking about it. All right, 50 bucks? 50 bucks, sounds good. I ain't even adding it all up. <laughs> I don't blame you. Thank you, baby. And you oh, said okay. I could have this yes. coat? Okay, thank It's you. a little damaged, but okay. go for it. Well, that tells you how rough and tough they are. They've been stored in the garage for 20 years. Well, that's years. right. I see you got mom's Tupperware collection. Yes, oh my gosh. I love vintage Tupperware so much. All right, you guys, I was at that yard sale for an hour and 10 minutes. I'm really glad I was the first one there. However, I'm kind of sad about the stuff that I missed. Like some of the things that she took out of my pile were some of my favorite items, but it's okay. Um, I completely understand. She let me look back there before she was even ready. 
Um, which I do appreciate. Now I wouldn't have snacked. Ha I, I think actually almost all of my pile outside of the Santas were from back in the garage area that she was not um, ready for yet. So I'm pretty happy with what we got. And now we are going to head across town to another sale that started, I guess, an hour ago now. Good morning. Ladies, I believe I found me a few things. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take these three things right here. Well, that sounds good. I think those had a sticker on them a second ago. How much for the shoes? Three says. bucks. Oh, so Seven dollars. Thank you very much, okay. dear. Thank you, dear. Have a great day. You too. Well. Now that I've went to the other yard sale on our agenda, I think I'm gonna go back. I can't, I can't stand to leave them. I can't stand to not go back and be like, hey, I will offer you much better than a yard sale price for your Misfit plush. So we're gonna go back. I feel very embarrassed going back to yard sales for some reason. I know it's just my own head problem, but I'm going to do it. I'm cringing already, you guys. It's an eight minute drive. I'm gonna be shaking in my boots the whole way over. All right, big girl pants, Kayla, big girl panties, let's go. I'm back again. <laughs> Still at it. Yeah. Figured out, see what else you guys put out. <laughs> Still working on it. Mom decided to take a trip down memory lane. I was like, oh, I can't do this right now. <laughs> Okay, so I have a tough question for you. Any chance you want to let go of those misfit toys for not a yard sale price? What are you thinking? I haven't even looked at my. That's yet. what I was wondering. What I don't know. What's are they all in the box? Because they were wrapped up, so I didn't even get to well, look. Well, my aunt was the, the manager of CVS for like forty years, so I'm pretty sure they've probably never been opened. Oh, really? She got all the exclusive stuff before it hit the shelves. Dang, lucky her. So. I hadn't even looked them up. Yeah. Honestly. They were in my pile to look up. The only thing I was able to look up was that cabbage patch tray. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, they were going for like 50 on eBay. Oh, dang. Well, do you want to look them up and see what you might want for them or whatever? Yeah. Because I really don't know for sure either. Yeah, I didn't even... They were... She is determined. I know. I'm now. No pressure. No pressure at all. That's what I'm saying. Feel free to look them up and see. They're haunting my dreams. Though. I told you they would. And I ha of course I haven't slept yet. But y'all know I'm a crazy yard seller. I went all the way across town to another yard sale. And I was like, oh my gosh, I should have asked her. I'm going back. Yeah. I said I'm going back. I'm, I'm assuming those are the little stuffies inside. Is that right? I. 
they were. I've had a few of these before, but never the whole, never the whole set. They were available only at CVS. Oh yes, they are in there. Oh wow. Those are so cool, dude. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh my gosh, and the little, ah, oh, that's memory lane right there. <laughs> what do you think? Just throw a price at me or look them up, whatever you want to do. And a little train. Oh, so these were like sold individually probably. And then mm -hmm. she just kept them all in the box. That's awesome. I'll let go of one. This one. They look like they have no duplicates. It's all different ones. Okay. I'm not even going to open this one. Okay. So it's a mystery box. 20 bucks. 20 bucks, huh? Okay. And I'm taking a chance. I don't. I haven't even opened it. I don't know if it's the same setup right. or what. Okay. I'll take it for 20 bucks. Okay. Bet. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I messaged you. Yeah. On, that. Okay. So if you change your mind about the other one, okay, you've got my, you've got my name. I'm gonna glance again before I pay you for these two. Okay, baby. That's fine. To make sure. Here, I'll take. Oh, them. thank Plastic. you. All right, walk around just another little pile here. How much you got on the beanie babies? <laughs> Five bucks. There you go. Yes, Thank you very much. You'll probably uh -huh. see me back on Sunday. Yes, ma'am. I'll be here. Maybe tomorrow as y'all dig more stuff out. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you in the picture. And okay. I'll pull them out. Oh, that's okay. You don't have to do that. You sure? Yeah, I am going to come back. I kind of got the idea of what you're looking for. Yeah, now, yeah. So. <laughs> I'll show you some pictures. All right, sure. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. I'll be dreaming about your little trunk back there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we're one week post this epic yard sale. Some of this stuff I don't have listed. Some of it I'm going to put on my whatnot auction. And some of it has already sold. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into this, though, with the grail of the sale. All right, you guys. So here is this box all popped open as it would have sat on the shelf in CVS. Now this little box complete with all 12 plushies in it has sold anywhere between $250 and $400. Now I will say I had my buddy Paul the Philly Flipper use his Worth Point account and look it up further for me. And it turns out there are actually two boxes. There are 24 original plush altogether. So I'm willing to bet that the other box that lady had has the other 12 characters. This one has some of the more rare plush like this little elephant guy sells for quite a bit by himself and I think the same with this little lion. So I have mine listed all together and I have it priced at $350. If you're a regular viewer of this channel you know how much Christmas Christmas stuff I have found lately and I do want to point out one little thing that I did see mentioned in the comments. Do remember that some Christmas comps are a little bit lower right now as people tend to sometimes take cheaper prices after Christmas so as Christmas rolls back around again and these things stop flying off the shelf, the prices on a lot of these items will or can go up. I'm going to go ahead and price mine at the top of the market right now at 350 bucks. So as you all saw in the video, I grabbed these guys so fast. I didn't even turn them around to realize that they were still snapped in to the box. I've sold so many of these before, guys, and I find that the majority of people store them 
in the boxes. So I just assumed they were used and it turns out I got a fantastic deal. Originally five bucks, y'all. Uh, I have the angel listed at 100 and Santa listed at 120. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm guaranteed to get that price, but I hope to get somewhere in that um, realm. So for the most part, there's not any other like super scores. This is pretty decent, about $35. This sells between $40 and $50. I have ours listed right in between at $45. Not listed yet. I do want to say that on the salt and pepper shakers, you guys, this S&P are in very, very nice condition. However, obviously, you can see this one is a little yellowed. The better condition these are in, the higher they will sell for. You can't just look at a quick comp on these and get a really accurate value because I've sold a set of these for 50 bucks before. So do take note, if yours are in excellent condition, they definitely bring more money. And you know, if you use it, pepper just turns stuff yellow over the years. I tend to always pick up any Tupperware that has these nice little ridge lids and are a great color like this, especially these, I can't remember how you say it, Servalier. They tend to be quick sellers and pretty decent sellers. Now, for those of you all that don't know, Tupperware is literally the easiest thing to look up because they all have this little number on the bottom. Can you guys see that? 8, 11, 13. So this first part here tells you style and the second part tells you the color variation. So you can just go straight to eBay, type in Tupperware, 8, 11, and boom, these will pop right up. Now I've picked up a lot of lower price items at that sale, but first of all, it was a Thursday. There was only two sales on the agenda, so I knew I could take my time and I wanted to make it worth my while. So for example, if I'm digging in this bin of plush and there are say 20 different plush that I want, even if they sell for between five and $10 a piece, consider that I've just spent five minutes um, sourcing all these out. The good part about these sets is they come in these little lots so it's going to make it much easier to sell. I'm going to put some of the better ones on my whatnot, and a couple of them I have on eBay already, like Mickey and Minnie for like $15. Um, I've already sold the green Toy Story plushie alien. I think these are one of the better sets, and I'm going to put those on whatnot. Then we got Sandy. I've sold the same guy before. Looks like he's selling for more than he was last time, though mine doesn't have the light. A lot of this stuff was just so nostalgic for me because this is... Um, my era. I think somebody will pay 20 bucks for all five of those. These little salt and pepper shakers sell for between 10 to $20. I have mine listed right in the middle at 15. Oh yeah, I haven't even looked at all these animals. This is not listed. Let's check this out together really quickly and then I'm going to let you all go because whew, this video is so long. Looks like we got some cake toppers and all the, look at the squirrel. Little deer. I thought that was just Noah's Ark animals, but now I'm not sure. Little milk glass worm. Oh my gosh. Little monkey. Oh my gosh. Cutest ever. So I'm actually not sure what this is worth. The original Noah's Ark here with the critter sells for between $15 and $30, depending on how big your lot is. <clears throat> Excuse me. These deer are ridiculous. Random plastic peanut, anyone?